Hello, and welcome to this video detailing the integration of Stripe with Sage 200. Millions of businesses of all sizes, from startups to large enterprises, use Stripe to accept payments online and in person from customers around the world. You can now utilize this platform by integrating Stripe with Sage 200, and this video will show you how. The first step is to set up invoice payments in Sage 200. To do this, navigate to Cashbook, Utilities, then Cashbook Settings. Move to the Invoice Payments tab and click Get Started. Enter and confirm the email address to use as a point of contact for Sage Invoice Payments, then click Sign Up. This email address does not have to be the same email address that you use for your Stripe account. Choose Stripe from the list of payment providers, then follow the instructions to connect your Stripe account or create a new account if necessary. Once you've finished, the invoice payment screen will show is connected. You can now close this screen. Once you've connected with your payment provider, you'll need to set up a new bank account in Sage 200 for use with invoice payments. To do this, navigate to Cashbook, Utilities, Cashbook Settings, then Invoice Payments. Highlight Stripe and then click Configure Provider. If you already have a bank account set up correctly, then you can select it from this list, otherwise clicking New to create a new account. Enter a code and a description so that your colleagues can identify the account and make sure to select the correct account currency. You may have noticed that the account type field is locked down. This is because any bank account used for invoice payments must have an account type of Sage Invoice Payments. This account will be used exclusively for this and you will not be able to use bank feeds or e-banking services with this account. Select the normal account you wish to use when posting this bank's transactions. This must be a posting account, and if you are using more than one bank account in Sage 200, then we advise you to create a separate nominal account for each bank account that you do set up. Select the nominal account that you wish to use when posting any bank charges for this account. The bank charges nominal will also be used to post any fees you receive from your payment provider. And lastly, select the exchange rates difference code to post any revaluations to, if applicable. Now that you've completed the setup, you need to make sure that you're using the correct invoice layout for this service. To enable the Pay Now button on your invoices, you need to use one of the provided invoice payment layouts, or you can add a Pay Now button to your own custom layout. These will not be used by default in Sage 200, so you will need to choose them as your default. Alternatively, if you only have a small selection of your customer base that you want to use this feature with, then you can specify which layout that you want to use on their specific customer record. We're now ready to send our invoices. Just email them to your customer, they click on the Pay Now button, and then follow the steps to complete the payment. You may want to set user access for invoice payments features. To do this, you'll need to have access to System Administrator. Once in there, open Roles. Right-click the role name that you want to set the access for, and choose Features. Here you'll see the features Process Invoice Payments and Maintain Invoice Payment Transactions. Just select which ones you would like your users to have access to. Your Stripe account must only be used for a single business or legal entity. For example, if your account has multiple wallets for different currencies, these must all be used for the same business. Speaking of different currencies, you can also send invoices and receive payments using multiple currencies. When you set up invoice payments, you must create a bank account in Sage 200 for each foreign currency and link those accounts to the payment provider. We strongly recommend that you set up multiple currencies in Stripe so that each currency is stored as a separate balance or wallet. Setting up multiple currencies like this means that you can receive payments in these currencies without having to pay any conversion fees. Invoices with settlement discounts cannot be processed by invoice payments, so they will not include the Pay Now button required for use with Stripe. To remove the discount, just zero out the values in the following places as required. The Delivery and Invoicing tab on the invoice. This will remove the discount from the individual invoice. The Payment tab within the customer record. This will ensure that all future invoices created for this customer will not include a settlement discount. The Customer Defaults tab in Sales Ledger Settings. This will ensure all new customer accounts will be created without a settlement discount in place. 
Once your customer has paid, you can download the transactions directly into Sage 200 and then allocate them with the outstanding invoice automatically. To do this, navigate to Cashbook, Period End Routines, Invoice Payments, and we'll see the options for Process and Maintain Invoice Payments here. If we click the Process Invoice Payments option first, select an up to date for the transactions and then click either download and process to download the transactions and automatically allocate them to the desired invoice if possible or click download to just download the transactions so that they can be allocated later. We also have the option to send the information that you see on screen to Excel. If you choose the option to download the transactions and not process them straight away, then you can come back to them later in the Maintain Invoice Payment screen. So that covers the integration setup and processing of customer invoices. To find out how to download and process the payment transactions linked to Stripe, please use the links to our help files below. You'll also see a link for our roadmap, which I would recommend bookmarking to keep you up to date with all of our new features and plans for Sage 200. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful. Thanks for watching.